So in the last video, I named 10 Raw superstars who I believe needed to go to SmackDown in this year's draft. And we are going to be doing the same exact thing here in today's video. We are going to be naming 10 SmackDown superstars who I believe need to go to Monday Night Raw in this year's draft. Let's get into it. Mr. Money in the Bank, Big E. I don't think this is a surprise by anyone. Big E won the Money in the Bank contract last month. And there have been rumors that Big E is set to reunite with the New Day on Monday Night Raw in this year's draft. And it would make sense since the New Day have been feuding with Bobby Lashley for the WWE title over the last few months. And for Big E to be the man to dethrone the Almighty for the WWE Championship, I think it makes perfect sense. So we send Big E to Raw. Now, Edge has had his fair share of feuds on SmackDown as of late. And to be quite honest with you, I think it is about time that Edge goes back to Raw. Maybe fight against Bobby Lashley for the WWE Championship. I think that would be an awesome, awesome feud. And Edge maybe renewing some feuds there. We'll have to see, man. But I say Edge to Raw. Finn Balor just made his return to the main roster last month on Friday Night SmackDown. And there have been teases of him feuding with Roman Reigns, though he was actually scheduled to face Roman Reigns at SummerSlam with obviously the storyline going on. And I think they're still going to go on with that. Extreme Rules is the next pay-per-view. And I think the route that WWE are going to be going with is having Finn Balor challenge Roman Reigns for the Universal title at Extreme Rules. And I think after Finn Balor is done with his rivalry with Reigns, I think it is time for Finn Balor to have more success on Monday Night Raw. Intercontinental Champion, King of the Ring, Shinsuke Nakamura. Now, he won the championship against Apollo Crews on SmackDown. And in the last video, I said Damian Priest to Friday Night SmackDown with the United States title. And that's the same thing I'm doing here with the Intercontinental title. Plus, we've never seen Shinsuke Nakamura on Monday Night Raw since he made his debut in 2017 on the main roster. And I think it's about time we see some new faces on the red brand with Shinsuke Nakamura. We did not see her compete at SummerSlam. But honestly, man, Sasha Banks has been on SmackDown for two years. She's won the, the women's title. And honestly, with the women that are still on the red brand, I would love to see Sasha Banks go to Monday Night Raw, have some new faces, new feuds with some women, go after the Raw women's title, keeping herself busy. That's what I want to see with Sasha Banks. So I send Sasha Banks to Raw. So this is the same thing I was saying with The Miz in the last video. Kevin Owens always switches brands in the draft every single time. And the same thing is going on here. Plus, Kevin Owens has had all the feuds he needed to have on SmackDown. He's had multiple IC title opportunities, multiple Universal Championship opportunities. I think it's time that we see Kevin Owens going after the, the WWE Championship. Man, Sami Zayn has been doing great things on SmackDown. Now, since I sent Shinsuke Nakamura to Monday Night Raw with the IC title, I think Sami Zayn needs to follow. I know that he's quite obsessed with the Intercontinental Championship, and I think maybe we could see a feud between Zayn and Nakamura in the future for the Intercontinental title. I think it would be an awesome, awesome feud. So I sent Sami Zayn to Raw. Now, this woman is currently out of action. Former SmackDown Women's Champion, the longest reigning SmackDown Women's Champion. Bayley going to Raw could bring more eyes to the red brand when she returns next year. Plus, you can have more talk shows, you know what I mean? Keeping the three-hour show busy. I think that would be really, really fun to see on Monday Night Raw. So, I send Bayley to Raw. The Dirty Dogs, former SmackDown Tag Team Champions and former Raw Tag Team Champions. Ziggler and Rude are currently not doing much when it comes to fighting for championship gold on SmackDown. And I think it's about time we see them go to Raw, maybe feud with RK Bro. That would be actually be a pretty cool feud. Man, I think Rude and Ziggler have been a fantastic tag team. And honestly, I think it's time that they go to Monday Night Raw. Now, this is another superstar who has never been on Monday Night Raw as a full-time superstar since the 2016 WWE Draft. 
Carmella has had a repackaged character last year. Now, to be honest with you, I think that Carmella is in need of a new change in scenery, maybe going after the Raw Women's Championship. That is just some ideas I got in mind, but I sent Carmella to Raw. All right, guys, that is going to end today's video. I really do hope you guys enjoyed this concept like I did in the last one. If you did, make sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you have not already, to be a part of the Flaming Dynasty. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. It has been EG Flames, and I'll see you guys later.